Hello, um, welcome to another episode of the NK Active podcast. I am Nick Bidonatris and clinical director here at NK Active. So this is the, the final podcast of 2023. Where has the year gone? I don't know. It's absolutely flown by. So what you're going to notice is there's going to be a theme going forward over the next few months around living with arthritis, osteoarthritis, and have a load of different speakers we've got planned for the new year. It's going to be absolutely great. So I thought just to finish off the year, let's speak a little bit around about rheumatoid arthritis and exercise. We've spoken a lot about osteoarthritis, but rheumatoid arthritis is still just as important so what really sort of prompted me to do this episode was the fact that in clinic a couple of weeks ago we had a patient that i hadn't seen for oh maybe four five years originally saw them to help them with a a typical foot pathology and they ended up having a a richly braith orthoses and an exercise program and they did suffer rheumatoid arthritis and we got there in the end they managed to travel a lot with their son do lots of city walking and symptoms were really really good so i didn't need to catch up again because they could do everything that was needed fast forward five years and they come uh, to see me and so they've got a few other questions and it was it was just absolutely mind-blowing to see this person again because what a change and turnaround they had made to their to their life they were still doing exercise on a regular basis they've seen a personal train on a regular basis they were doing strength sessions three times a week they managed to lose a lot of weight, change their diet, and they were coming to see me because they're like, right, actually, everything's feeling good. I want to get into running. How am I going to do this? Oh, and also, they'd stop using the Richie brace. They didn't actually need the support from the brace anymore because they'd made so many changes, and it was like a completely different person. It was amazing. Also, from a medicine viewpoint, they were actually then come off some of their steroids, not taking any steroids, anymore which was fabulous to see as well and they were in such a good and happy place and I thought do you know what this will be a really good thing is a little episode to chat about how to exercise with rheumatoid arthritis so the key thing is I think is always to remember is that if you have rheumatoid arthritis or you know someone with it that you will get flare-ups from from time to time and it is understanding and managing those those flare-ups so you you will have regular contact with your rheumatology nurse or your rheumatologist to help with the medical management side of things as well but I still believe exercise is really really important and it is really really important you can keep on doing because we actually know with arthritis that muscle strength is so so important but we just have to accept that sometimes a flare-up will hit hit you out of the blue and it's just about managing that but keeping on that straight and that narrow path and so we will get there so really what you'll tend to find is that if you're coming into clinic and you're suffering with a problem around the inside of the the ankle. So a common problem we see with rheumatoid arthritis is tibialis posterior tendinopathy or dysfunction. So the tibialis posterior is a muscle that runs down from deep within the calf muscle along the inside of the ankle. And we know it is common to irritate that muscle with people with rheumatoid arthritis because rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory pathology we actually know you do get what we call true tendonitis. You do get true swelling and inflammation around the tendons, especially during during flare-ups. And it has been wonderful with the modern changes in medicine that 
now we can try and really reduce the risk of any joint disease and destruction happening because what used to happen before DMARDs and biologic so disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs um you used to find that if you have an inflammatory flare-up from your rheumatoid arthritis you get some swelling of the joint and then the joint swells and then when it settles back down again that's when you then get the joint destruction happening so you may know someone where you can see they've got big nodules on their on their hands and their, and their feet and they've changed shape now as i've already mentioned with modern medicine we're able now to reduce the risk of that with that happening but exercise is still really really important just like with most medical problems is that exercise forms a vital part of not just helping you from a physiological but then also from a psychological viewpoint as well we know that the more active you are the better but it's having that understanding that there may be flare-ups along the way so things are going to take slightly longer so with a tibial posterior tendinopathy or dysfunction then we may find it may take six nine months to get to the point where we need to get to because of combining it with the rheumatoid arthritis as well but the good news is is that we can help you get there you can do it there's just going to be a few bumps along the way and as the example i explained earlier is that if you can get the right plan in place get the right team behind you then there's no reasons why you can't go and achieve achieve those goals really so if we want to really think about three top tips for exercising with rheumatoid arthritis one is listen to your body if you're having a flare-up or you're having a bad day please 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 don't push yourself take the rest the sleep the recovery that your body needs and that is so 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 important tip number two is trying to be consistent with your exercise and you may find that just doing small and regular chunks, slow and steady, I think wins the race here. Because then by doing small and regular chunks, you reduce the risk of irritating and any flare ups along the way. And you'll generally find it much easier to manage. Tip number three is really don't be nervous of lifting weights. Don't be nervous around about doing things to physically to get stronger. Yes, you may have to adapt programs. Yes, you may have to adapt lifting techniques. But these are all barriers that can be overcome. At the end of the day, if you've got a tendon problem or an arthritic joint, we know the stronger you are, the better things tend to be for you. So it's a case of we may just have to adapt and adjust over time and with flare-ups. So there we go. A nice, quick, short episode into exercising with rheumatoid arthritis. I just want to say a massive thank you for tuning in this year. Please, please do subscribe to the podcast and we shall see you in 2024 where we've got some fantastic expert speakers and guests lined up especially around the arthritis topic see you in the new year have a fabulous christmas goodbye